begin, you must first start your camera before entering RightView Pro. Turn your camera on and connect it to your computer using a FireWire cable. At this point, you may see an autoplay box that asks you what you'd like to do with your DV device. You will always take no action or close the box with the red X. Otherwise, a different software program may hijack your camera, which will make it unrecognizable by RightView Pro. From here, you will either stream the live footage into the software or turn your camera to play mode and play your pre-recorded tape. Both procedures will yield the same results. Now we can open RightView Pro. Click Analysis to get into the main analysis system. A message will pop up to let you know that the program is looking for resources or cameras. Here you can press OK. If everything is connected properly, you will see a message upon entering the program that says Camera 2 not available. If you do not see this message, and if you do not see any video, this is a time where you will need to troubleshoot the connection of your camera to your computer. Otherwise, you are now ready to begin capturing. Click the Capture tab. Choose the Coach and Student folder for the location of your saved clips and click the sport motion that your student is performing. Now click Record. The software is now saving three second clips at a time. The software will only save the last three seconds when you press the Save button. After pressing Save, the software will go backwards three seconds and save that motion to the student folder. As you may have noticed, the clip that I saved is now in preview mode. This is great if I only want to analyze this clip, but if I wish to capture multiple clips, the best mode is the auto capture mode. By clicking the return camera button and checking the auto capture box, the program will come back to a live camera for multiple captures rather than staying in the preview mode. Let's save a couple more clips using the auto capture mode and then go take a look. The saved clips are stored in the front folder of the Swing Manager and in the front tab of the analysis system. If you have two cameras connected, a dual capture would take place. These videos would be stored in the both folder in your Swing Manager and in the front and target tabs of your analysis system. As you can see, the video is named, dated, and numbered. To view the video, just click on the video and drag and drop it into the screen. To return to the capturing process, click Return Camera and you will notice that your live camera will reappear. Now we have a different student to capture. Before choosing the new student, you will first click Cancel. Now your clips will be stored in the new student's folder with the new student's name. And finally, let's discuss a few quick editing options. Upon saving a clip, if you made any mistakes, you can always double click the name of the video in the front tab and make your necessary changes. You can rename the clip, change the sport motion of the clip, and change the location of the clip. You can also make these changes in the Swing Manager. Simply right click the name of the clip and you will be given a list of functions that you can perform on that clip. For example, if this clip was supposed to land in a different folder with a different name, simply right-click it, rename it, and then use the cut and paste function to move it to the correct folder.